Let's go ahead and stir the pot a little, shall we? Last Friday, 10 minutes before dismissal time, I decided to live stream my students helping me take my hair out. There was quite the discourse in the chat, which had people saying this was inappropriate, and other people saying this was completely fine, there was nothing wrong with what I was doing, and people were just making it weird. So of course I had to bring this issue to the big stage. I would like to represent myself in this case, Your Honor, if I may. Number one, for a little context, I had a hair appointment immediately after school and I needed my hair taken out beforehand. I would have taken it out the night before, but that Friday we had a camera crew coming in to shoot a promotional video and I was one of the ones being interviewed, so I had to look presentable so I didn't take my hair out. I didn't have the time to do it all myself because it would have taken me forever, so naturally I asked about four or five of my over a hundred best friends to assist me in taking my hair out and they all agreed. Number two, this was at the end of class. This week we were doing STEM fair presentations. Since it was Friday and all of my students did an excellent job on their STEM fair projects and presentations, I told them if we get one solid presentation in this class, I'll end class a little early and they can have fun and play basketball, darts, or be on their phones or whatever. And during that time, my team would help me take my hair out. A couple of these were students from my class, but others were students from other classes. I wrote all of them a pass at the beginning of the class period, requesting their assistance 10 minutes before dismissal. I told the teachers only send them if all of their work was completed and they had good behavior. They all met the criteria, so 10 minutes before dismissal, they showed up for their job. My next point I'd like to make is, if I was a female teacher, those people wouldn't be in the comments saying, oh, this is weird, this is inappropriate. Because me personally, I don't think there's anything weird about this. People are saying, oh, that's too intimate. To me, it's literally just hair. It doesn't have to be weird. Some people have never had cool teachers and it shows. I personally believe that building authentic relationships with students is paramount in being an effective teacher. I make sure my students know and can feel that I care about them beyond the schoolwork and all the stuff that I have to make them do. I take the time to get to know my students outside of academics because caring for the whole child is what's important. I'm sure it's harmless, but my daughter won't have a hands in any man's head, especially a teacher. Absolutely not. It is unprofessional. It doesn't matter who. You can bond with your students without doing this. I don't think he deserves to get fired. It is very unfortunate, but teachers are not here to befriend students. And if you want your students to relate to you, you got to set boundaries. Don't get too comfortable. Follow the curriculum. Make sure the students are doing what they're supposed to do and go home. As a man, you just know even if your intentions is 100% pure, it's just things you can't be doing. You don't want to blur any lines that can put you or the students in any harm's way. Honestly, this is just inappropriate. You should have been letting young girls on braided hair and recording it and putting it on social media didn't help. When you work with kids, it's very strict policy because people don't play with their kids. I think people should probably stop doing TikToks and videos while they are place of work. Some of these teachers on social media want to make social media their job while at their job. But hey, let me know what you think in the comments down below.